Welcome to Business Spice. The JC finished the day up nearly half a percent at 27,904 points. We spoke to Johan Marie, commodity structuring at APSA Capital, looking at the oil price above $80. Oil, I think, is doing exactly what we said it would. Um, and, uh, you know, the good news that came out of China yesterday, obviously, uh, impetus uh, the Chinese uh, commitment to their economic stimulus package. Um, good news out of the U.S. Um, so generally optimism. Um, we see two things in the oil market, interesting enough. If you look at the prices for the past year, um, there's been, oil has been 19 days above $80 and only one day below 70 So we think from a price point of view, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's quite clear that the, the, the push is upwards and the sentiment is upwards as well. The Nigerian market faced its third consecutive day of losses, dropping marginally to 22,920 points. We spoke to Mukta Mohammed of Asa Investments about the market's continued weakness. The market is beginning to um, go a little bit down. You can't expect it to go all up. If you know, the two weeks ago we had a, a market that was just going up. Um, actually, I think the losses may just due to some of the results that investors were not too comfortable with, like a result that came out um, a week ago from a Nigerian brewery was not really very impressive, and um, um, the forecast we get into are not very, very impressive forecasts. And then you talk about um, today we had a result from WAPCO, which, which was also very, very poor. And um, it has not been an earnings section, earnings season like we normally would expect, and people are still expecting the banks to come out with the results. And um, people are doing profit taking again. You must then rule that out. The NSC 20 broke above the 3,700 mark, ending the day 0.85% stronger at 3,706 points. We spoke to Wayaki Hinga from Hinga and Associates, looking at the stocks driving the market. If uh, we look at more in the agricultural sector, you notice the likes of Kakuzi had a very high turnover in terms of uh, talks, uh, the price range and stocks traded. You find also those the likes of Sassini. So more or less it's interesting that the agricultural sector reminiscent with the oncoming of the rains tends to be at the most productive end of the stock exchange this week. For more news and videos, go to abndigital.com.